size of it. <laughs> what? <laughs> So here we are trying to build my dream monster truck. In the last video, we got the engine running. We took it for a little spin. In this video, we're going to fit the big tyres. We're going to fit the body. We're going to get the body painted, all the graphics on there, and get this truck finished. So Ian is just mounting the body. I'm going to help him in a minute once I've had my cup of tea. Claire's over there is relaxing. Hello. <laughs> Workshop's too small, so we've got to put it outside. What we want to do, hold on, hold on. What we want to do is, we need to put the body on, then we've got to pick up the whole monster on one corner, flex it over, and then we can cut the arches. But this is in the way, and this doesn't work. So maybe that can make it work. Ooh. Hang on, no. You can go for, oh. Hang on, hang on. You can go forwards a bit. That's well sketchy. <laughs> yeah. What are we doing, Claire? Working out where you got to cut it. Ah, so we've got some pictures of Titan. It's got the same body as me. So we're going to... Well, Claire's going to, because Claire's better at this. <laughs> <laughs> so you want that bit intact, don't you? Yeah. And then it comes down to here. <laughs> Oh my god, that's a lot you've got to cut out of there. Is it in the middle? Uh, yeah, it's not far off. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the one time I'm actually going to wear a muzzle. <laughs> one and only. <laughs> this is a fashion statement. All the kids are going to be wearing this. <laughs> Big box, little box. Man, I hate fiberglass. So we just roughly cut the back one. So next we're gonna jack it up, get the big wheels on, see how it lines up, and then do whatever Claire says. <laughs> I'm the boss, am I? <laughs> right, so next magic trick, right, ready, ready, ready. <laughs> that was easy, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, next one, ready? Oh my god, look! Look, look, look! Look at the size of it! What? <laughs> so we've got to do a bit more cutting on the body work, we've got to do it the other side, and then we've got to take it down to Tony's, get it painted, stickers. Oh my god, that is the size it's going to be, man. <laughs> moved on that tyre. The idea of flexing it so we can see what the full travel is. But it feels unstable. We're going to try and let the shocks down. Death by monster truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I might have got to get under it. Your, your monster truck. truck. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we're going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to take a lot more. So now, hopefully it's going to work, we put some more pressure in the shocks and that's going to give this side maximum travel, the other side maximum down, and then we can cut our arches out, or the fenders. So we just cut a little bit out of here, I didn't really want to cut any of this off really, because we're going to harm the face, but we've got no choice, it's either that or moving the body further forward, and if we move the body further forward, that's going to hit when we do moonwalks, like the nose wheelies. So anyway, next we've got to steer it, to see how far we can actually steer, so Ian's donated Volunteer to get in. Go on, short us. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'll, I'll get the more difficult job of jacking it up. Steer. Oh. oh. <laughs> Maybe a tiny bit more. If we keep it on that line, that'll be all right. <laughs> So the bit we're trucking away is actually bigger than the bit that we're keeping. So next we're going to let the gas out the shocks, so we're going to get the truck back down again, put the rest of the body panels on, hopefully it's all going to line up. And hopefully I'm not going to kill myself. This one might be more spectacular. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Are you sure you haven't done those valves? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> You'll face it. So now with the truck on the bump stops, we can reattach the sway bars. And it goes up. So that should be our sway bar set perfectly. Still looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> it almost looks better slammed, doesn't it? Yeah. So there we go, that is the body fully mounted now. Suspension's all the way down, so it's got to go up again. I reckon it looks so fat like this. So next we've got to put the small wheels back on, take the body off, take the body down to Tony's. Tony's going to paint it. Ash is making the vinyl stickers for it. He's doing all the artwork, so we're going to get that on there. Then put it all back together again. A little bit more wiring, a little bit more messing around, and then it's going to be ready to take it out for the first drive, learn to drive it, learn to jump it, all that stuff. And after that, first show, UK Monster Truck Nationals. Make sure you book in if you're nearby in the UK and get your tickets. Link down below. Back in the shop again with its little baby wheels on there. Hello! It's not Christmas every day. <laughs> we've got a little bit of wiring to do with the monster, and we have the man in the house. So that is a taco we got to get working, and we got what have we got, Craig. We've got wires, we've got some information there, and we've got to get that information <laughs> to make sure they take the right bits in there. And then, is it going to work? Of course, it's going to work. <laughs> yes! Yes. <laughs> right, so temporarily we've got it all wired into the loom. So hopefully, well, Craig over there reckons it's going to work. Of course it is. Of course it is, he says. If you're not confident, it'll never work. So we've got the old block heater plugged in. We've got the engine warming up. So 45 minutes on that. We're going to give it a quick little fire up and just see if it works. <laughs> oh, you ain't calling that when he comes back. <laughs> He's laughing now, he won't be laughing in a minute. So while the block heater was heating up the engine, Craig took Vinny out in his crazy Cosworth powered Mark 1 Escort. Woo! Listen to that anti lag. You still breathing? Yeah. <laughs> what do you reckon of it? That's wicked. So Vinny is a designated driver. Put the ignition on. That's uh, it. And that's loud. My eyes hurt. My ears hurt. That was louder than yours. So next, I've got to tidy up all this mess of cabling. It's all way too long. I'm going to put some of these connectors on there. And in the last video, I actually put them on wrong. And a lot of you guys commented and told me how I should have done it. So first of all, we've got to install these little rubber things. And I actually put them on the wrong way around. The idea of these is to stop water getting into the seals. Next, we need to strip the wire, then get one of these connectors and bang it on the end. For that, we've got a crimp up. And then that bit there is actually supposed to crimp on with this piece, just like that. So next, we've got to make sure that we get the right terminal into the right hole. So we're going to put this connection on and then sort of chill them where they're going to go for now. Yeah. And then we can unplug it and push them all the way in and close the lid. Boom! 
So it's another day, we've got Claire and Ian back in the house. We've got to take the body off, take it down to Tony's, he's going to paint it. Are you excited? Yeah. Road <laughs> trip. What's going on in here? Take care, bud. Hello. Hello. <laughs> So we are off to Tony's from Swamp Thing 4x4. He's going to make a mould of this body actually, so when we break our body, he can make us a new body. Then he's going to paint it and get all the stickers on there. Uh oh. I think we oh broke God. the rental van. <laughs> it's just that. It's secure. <laughs> <laughs> have, you put the, have you put a key in it? No. no. Have you unlocked the fan? Well, yeah. <laughs> I've got an angle grinder. <laughs> <laughs> here we are on Tony's location. <laughs> so this lot here, Tony's going to make a mould and hopefully paint it. Yeah. And then we just put plasticine in there. So when we mould it, you actually know where to drill out all the holes. Everything that's going to be ready to go. So all your weird arches will be pre-cut, so you won't have to keep doing that. Oh, I can't do fibreglass. I hate fibreglass. <laughs> but the way they made your mould, so that... So the top yeah, this is, is horrible. Empty. Yeah, it's how they've done it. So I'm actually, gonna, when I make it, I'm going to fix this a little yeah. bit anyway. So is that going to be on your channel doing all that? Yeah, yeah. So I'll be yep. doing this, how to fix it. But yeah, it's the first <laughs> time you've been down there, isn't it? Yeah. You said it looks a lot bigger than when you, what you thought it was going to be, especially the office. You thought the office yeah, was Yeah, that small. looks more on these videos. So if you want to see this painted, and you're going to stick it up as well. Yeah, get, get, get me paint graphics and do the graphic works on it. Yeah, so Tony's channel, link down below if you want to see all that happen, that's where it's going to happen. I'm really busy, I'm filming. Wow, we, there's some big cuts in there. Okay, there's some footage here, it looks like I'm not lazy. <laughs> look, really busy I am, look. <laughs> getting the heavy bit. Not really, really heavy bit. So while Tony's painting the body, we've got a few more jobs to get on with. So all the wiring is now fully done. And look, we've hidden it all away to make it all nice and neat, nice and tidy. All this mess under here, look, all nicely tidied up. Up here, we've sorted all these cables out. We've got the taco working. But coming around here, we have a problem. So this limit strap here is what stops the shocks overextending and pulling the piston off on the inside. Trouble is, where it's mounted, it's sitting in between the chassis and this hydraulic valve block thingy-majig. And that's probably going to break it, so we're going to have to move this at some point. And to get it out, we need to jack it up. So I need to make an adapter so that I can put it onto my jack. So next we've got to get that jack over to the front so we can jack the front up. We need to get this limit strap out of there. Have a look how we're going to do that. So we've got to put our new pole in there, jack it up, have a little play with it. It would help if the door wasn't there, but oh guys, we need a bigger shop, we're out of space. We are looking, as soon as somewhere suitable comes up, we're gonna move into a bigger place. But for now, we just have to make do. Now we can put that into there and jack up. So you got this strap out of there now, so next let's take this off and see where we can move it to. Hmm, where can it go? Probably up here, maybe. I want to jack it all the way up and limit straps off. These are 30 inch travel shocks. And I want to make sure that we're actually going to get 30 inches of travel. And then you put the limit straps on, and you're supposed to limit it by a couple of inches so that you don't rip the piston off the top of the shocks. <laughs> That's still only 26, but this is limiting it to like, I think we need longer straps. So that's probably still got more to go. That's 
So, just been doing a little bit of work off camera. So I've put in a handheld fire extinguisher here. And also I've started it to plumb in a plumbed in system. So you pull the handle here and it sets this thing off here. Now we've got some nozzles. So we've got a couple of nozzles on here that go over the engine. We've got one there that goes over me and another one over there that goes over me. And one there that goes over the transmission. And then coming around here, I've made a guard for the supercharger because you have to have this to protect the fuel lines. In case that belt breaks, you don't want the fuel lines getting ripped off. So Tony from Swamp Thing 4x4 has been working on the monster truck body panels. There's a video on Tony's channel, link to that down below. And while we're waiting for that, we've been a little bit more busy on the trucks. Just had all this stuff here come back from powder coaters. We've got to put some of it back on. So here we've got an engine stabiliser. So I'm going to put that back on. Actually off camera. Hold on, let me put the torch on. I'll make this guard here to go around the flywheel. Some more bits here come back from powder coaters to hold this tank on. So let's get it all fitted and head over to Tony, get the body, get the body fitted. And then guys, it's going to be time to test the truck out properly. Yes. Guys, we're pretty much finished now. We've just got to wait to get the body back from Tony. But off camera, I made these little brackets here to hold the seat shoulder pads onto the head pad things. We zip tied everything down to stop everything from moving about. And all a bit of zip tied under there, just holding up all the hoses and cables everywhere to keep them out of farm's way. Right, let's head off to Tony's, pick up the body. Hopefully he's gonna give us a little guided tour of his Swamp Thing workshop. Uh, then we're gonna bring the body back, fit it, and then next video, it'll be our first little proper drive. We are on our way to Tony's Swamping 4x4. Can't wait to see this body. I've seen the Facebook pictures. Oh man, it looks so good. Can't wait to see all the truck. But he hasn't got the stickers on there yet. So we're going to get the body back with no stickers. And then Sticker Man's going to come to the workshop and put the stickers on then. So the grand unveiling of the name and what all the artwork's going to be is going to be at the UK Monster Truck Nationals in Santa Pod. So make sure you're going to be there. We're going to miss it. The Talbot Pub. Hey, here we are in Tony's shop. Hey. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at this. Here's the front end. So this is going to go chrome, actually. But the stickers are not going on it just yet. So test day is going to be like that. And then we're going to sticker it up for the main day. What do you reckon of it, though? I reckon it looks amazing. <laughs> Ferrari Rosso Corsa. Because when you was on about the red, I said, you've got to pick a nice one because some of them look a bit orangey. Yeah, there's definitely no orange in that. No. I reckon you should give us a little guided tour of your Swamp Thing man cave. Uh, yeah, so this is, this is me. Uh, normally, I've got my tractor unit on the front, but that's just up the end at the minute. So this is my trailer, uh, which I use to take my monster truck from show to show. Yeah. Uh, we'll take you in that in a minute, but Ooh. this is where I do all the, like, the fabricating with metal is in this part of it here. I saw that on your video, actually, when he's making these things. Yeah. So there's steering knuckles. This is what I break a lot of at a minute. Oh. These, these are the half shafts, so that, that there's a little yeah. pin in there. You can dot that out, and that piece will come out. <laughs> so, guys, Tony's going give to give us a quick guided tour, but if you want to see anything in great detail, Tony's got a YouTube channel as well, and we're going to put a link to that down below. Check it out. Yeah. It shows loads, how to make bodies, diffs, everything. Yeah, yeah. so like, this is bits of my monster truck that I've broken. <laughs> there's, a, there's another monster truck up there, look. Who has a monster truck up on the shelf in their workshop? Oh, who? <laughs> <laughs> is that Swamp Thing 2.0? Yeah, so it's, it's almost the same. The design of the chassis is a little bit different at the bottom, but yeah, it's a slightly longer wheelbase on that one. Did you make that chassis, or...? Um, it was originally made by somebody else. Yeah, and, and you modified I, I, it. And I modified it a lot. The only thing I'm probably going to do on it is I'm going to chop off the front of it again 
and make the front shorter so you could do a nose wheel. Ah, yes. <laughs> um, the problem with Swamp Thing at the moment, if I try to do a nose wheel with that, where, yeah. where the wheels are on it, yeah. the chassis comes out too far out the front of it. And it dig will, in. It will dig in the ground. Yeah. Yeah, look at so. the tyres everywhere, look. Yeah, I've got lots of tyres, six ply, good years. That's got some cleatage. Yeah. Oh, now we've got, now we've got itchiness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, my, my workshop is dust free, especially in a minute after doing your stuff. I think I've got a fiberglass allergy. Every time I touch fiberglass, everything goes itchy. Yeah, uh, so yeah, so there's more 66s there. Yeah, oh, this thing, that's actually on your channel as well, isn't it? Yeah, this is my daughter's car. She's building this. So this was a, an old London taxi. Yeah. Which we're turning into a, a 1932 hot rod. Yeah, so V8 engine. Yeah. A lot of work's gone into this. I'm really enjoying that build series. Yeah. So if you want to see that in more detail, Tony's channel. Yeah, the welders I use, so I've got a TIG. Oh, um, that looks a lot more professional than what we've got. <laughs> Mine are like some little Banggood specials, what I use. These are like proper boys. Yeah, so and then you've got a plasma cutter on the top there. That actually looks a bit like my TIG welder. I've actually got a part weld TIG welder. Yeah, so, yeah, so the lottery, all the spares are in the bottom. I'm going to have to build all this eventually. Yeah, so these are all the parts in there. So you've got like the prop shafts, half shafts. That looks like the thing that I just made. Yeah, that is. That's what sets up the suspension. Yeah. Um, all the nuts and bolts, brake pads, everything in there, gazebo. Yeah. So we've got the shop. Have you done a video actually where you've done a whole tour of your trailer? No, I haven't. I think you should. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> actually, I'm really intrigued by it. What's in there? That's the exhaust for the generator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you've yeah, built this, didn't you? Yeah, everything on this is filled up. There's no yeah. spare bits. There's of... spares in there as well, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, spares all the way across here, spare winches. So these are the guys, the VK Graphics, they wrapped this whole entire trailer. But these are all parts of monster trucks, so these are all the broken bits, but there's still good bits in there. These exhaust systems, shopping That is us. <laughs> no, they're, they're off a... a... Legend? No, 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 these are off a 4x4. And this is where I do all the fiberglass in the Oh, the itchy room. I've seen quite a lot of this this room here in the video, in your videos recently. Yeah, so there's, there's the front bumper. Oh yeah. When we start off with fiberglass, we just start off with that. This is all the resin that's in there. That's all the chop, chop mat. So that's a oh, thick that gives me anxiety looking at that. Oh, look at all the dust coming out. Look at the camera, look. <laughs> that shows it more. Because <laughs> you've got the torch on, not you? More tires. More tires, yeah. I've got a fair few tires. Let's evacuate the torture chamber. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get an itchy. Now. Yes, just looking at it. <laughs> the other good thing about the trainer is, so on the in on there, there's where the gas bottle is. Yeah. There's a water tank across here. All the electrics are there. In the top is the air conditioning because you've got air conditioning in your trailer. Oh. You coming? Yeah, yeah, we're coming. There's the monster truck in Oh, there. there's Swamp Thing, look. Oh, you've got headlights in it as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it all fits in. So the tyres are at the back. And there's all the, all the spares and everything are all around. The, like my toolboxes are all around the side. Yeah, so you've got the tyres all the way over there. Yeah. All the way back there. We zoom right in. Going so, they, up all they, so they stack on one on top of each other on the other. Where do you sleep? Sleep this way. Woo! <laughs> so, yeah, so this is a little oh, accommodation. Bedroom. So that's a bedroom up there. This makes it into a bed as well. Yeah. Um, and that moves that way, doesn't it? Everything moves, even the floor. Yeah. So when the monster truck's out, all this slides back to make the room. The, the living room is 21 foot long when the monster truck's out. Well, yeah. So, that's, so all this is like all the way over there. Yeah, everything. But you can still use it like that. But yeah. Across, across the end. We've got a bathroom across the end. And toilet and shower and that in here. Oh, look at that. Hello! Man, this is posh, and you built all this yourself? Yeah. Is there anything you can't build? Uh, gearboxes. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm jealous. I'm a little bit jealous. So that is the mould that Tony made us. So when I break my one, hopefully not anytime soon, then Tony can make me more. And you put all the stuff on the inside, but you have to check out Tony's channel if you want to see how it's done. Who would call a car dealership that? <laughs> <laughs> he obviously did. So we got the services. We went and got a Greg's pizza. Absolutely disgusting. Can't even eat it. it tastes like it's like 10 years old. How's your one? Not great, not great. Uh, oh no. We've just entered the UK's biggest car park, the M25. 
All right, see if this place is going to be any better. What do you reckon, boys? Is it going to be any better? Let's hope so. Yes, now we're talking better than Craig's. Boom, we have arrived, and Vinny is going to help us lift it on. Oh, that looks rubbish. Ah! Oh. That looks well good, not yeah. it? Yeah. No cameraman, but we have got a tripod. Vinny's found the merch. I don't think I was getting it on. It's child size. Here you go. <laughs> you head through. And now roll it down. No. Don't break it. Put it on my shoulder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Guys, oh, that, that looks good. so good already. So next, we've got a bolt on these bits that we powder coated onto there. And then we can put the front end on, bedsides back. Waffle, waffle, waffle. <laughs> there we go, all mounted up. So next video, is me learning how to drive it. Oh man, check it out. Can't wait to see it with the big wheels on there. So anyway, next video, we're gonna be putting the big wheels on it. We're taking it to Santa Pod to learn how to drive it, hopefully not destroy it. And then we got our first show, August, I think 21 it is. You came on to Truck Nationals, get your tickets so you can come and watch me make a fool of myself. <laughs>